What's good, Pisces? Welcome back. Imagine Magician Tarot. You know what to do if you want to like, share, and subscribe right there. It's below. Okay, welcome back. Today is Sunday, November 18th. My dog is... Get out of here. Look at my dog. Alright, so those of y'all with a dog need to pay attention to your dog. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> Sunday, November 18th, Monday, November 19th. Let's get started. Let's see what's going on for y'all. It is a daily tarot truth update. And I'm Magic D. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and cut this. Where are we at? Where are you? Pisces, I'm a fellow fish. Blue, blue. I'm here, y'all said blue, blue. Okay. Ace of Swords in reverse. Why are you continuing to be a freaking dreamer? Maybe because it's your nature? Does that annoy you? Do you want to be a little bit more intellectual? Do you want to use... I'm <clears throat> sorry. Want to be more fiery? Is this an Ace of Wands? Do you want to act on those imaginative ideas? Why are you not? Let's see what's going on in your thoughts. Oh my god. Okay, are you going against your recent awakening? Are your actions not really in tune with what you know to be true? Okay. Mm, okay, so, so, so here's what's going on. You know that most of what you participate in on the day-to-day -day is some sort of facade, and yet you continue to try to work things a traditional way. Because of your fears. What are your fears? Okay, the Ace of Pentacles. You know that if you sell out in some way, you may be making more money. And that's why you have this Ace of Pentacles here. So you might be afraid to take the leap into a new job or into a new, more lucrative pathway. Because you don't want to go against your true nature and what you really know about the Awakening. You want to find and forge a new path. So let's look at your hopes. Oh, yeah. So hopes are, the Ten of Swords in reverse, hopes are that you're not fully dead. <laughs> if you woke up this morning or you felt this week that you were just like at the end of your rope, sad, you were feeling depressed, low energy, your hope is that it's not over. Your hope is that you still have more fight in you. Okay, and then the challenge. Okay, this is, this is the King of Wands. Your challenge is, and he's in reverse of course, Challenge is getting more in touch with the fiery side of you. Look into your chart and see what kind of fire sign action you have going on. Or look around you and see what other fire signs are in your, or what fire signs are in your life that you might compare yourself to. Or feel like you're just not, like, why are they successful and I'm not successful? That's kind of what's going on with you guys. And us, what's going on with us? Alright, so I'm seeing a lot of pink. And that's the upper chakra, that's like, above your crown so in your mind you're really understanding the sacredness of life but not really getting in touch with the groundwork not really lighting the fires that you need to not really using the sparks that come from your imagination to actually create the fire and hit the ground running i don't know why there's sort of a dropped out energy right now with you guys let's see one more here mm, okay 21 eternal Let's look a little bit further into this card. I think we got this one before. We get this a lot. The world. What is going on? You could have the world. We could have the world. And you're not choosing really to participate, it seems like. You're kind of opting out and passing the book so you're like that's not really my problem do you feel a little extraterrestrial in that you just don't understand why humans act a certain way and so you're like well screw them could that be it okay circle of figure symbols in anthropomorphic shapes representing the world of eternal oneness extends beyond the boundaries of the card to express the infinity of space time and eternity a personal critique of soul evolution is revealed by exploration of the symbols that unmask the divine essence within Conrad. I'm so sorry, guys. All right. And then here, so you look at this card and you see which symbol is calling to you. I'm seeing like a cool like mustache thing here. 
and some dots, the little pyramid, and then also the spiral. And I also see so, uh, like a bird's eye. All right, so let's delve a little bit into these spiritual illumination. That would be the spiral. And then we have the four directions. Intersection of crosswords of decisions. There's a shaman, universal healing, seeking information. There's so much in here, Pisces. It's like your inward, your inward thinking, your inner world is popping. And your outer world is flaccid and ineffectual and just depressed and just like, don't look like the beginning of the freaking Christina Aguilera song. Why? Let's see. Okay. Let's take a little, let's look and uh, let's draw a couple more cards. I think it's because you don't want to be hurt anymore and you're just tired and you don't want to address the new you had all these old pains from your old world and your old life that you maybe had a rough childhood. And you address those. And then now that you're older, you're like, oh, I shouldn't have to experience any more pain at all. So, fuck this. Maybe now you're out of drugs or you're out of your drink or you're out of your um, lazy job. And you realize you have to actually do something. So what is it? Okay. Um, we got an earth sign, an earth mother in reverse. Maybe perhaps your wife, girlfriend, your mother, your aunt, whoever raised you, your grandmother was not the best example um, of how to make money, basically. Okay, and let's delve a little bit more into that. Or if you are a male Pisces or Pisces who is in a relationship with a woman, she is also feeding into your laziness. Well, let's just look further. Okay, we have a three of cups in reverse guilt over her transgression you may have guilt over your transgression there was there's a crowd situation here and that's what's going on Pisces. I hate that. okay labor in reverse yep done wrong justice card in reverse you were done wrong you felt bad you felt wrong like i said either if it wasn't a third party situation or anything like that then it was some sort of just bad luck shitty childhood situation and people are feeling, people like straight up just feel sorry for you and don't want to push you to do anything because of that situation. So are, are you waiting for somebody to come and help you? I don't think that that's going to happen, but let's see what's coming towards you. Yeah. Uh, five of wands or so. You're going to need to go to battle because the people around you may be the actual obstacles in your way. Five things, five people. This card wants to come up here. And the eight of wands in reverse premonition. Okay. I'm thinking that if you are somebody who is in touch with your psychic gifts or has just sort of run away from that part of yourself or not wanted to take that healing part of yourself seriously, but concerned with maybe you're at the beginning of a journey and you don't know if it's going to actually pay out and so you don't fully commit to it every day the way that you should and yet you put your your hopes your dreams and your efforts into something that you think is going to make you money but you don't really like it you're not doing either one very well okay yeah so you're not able to Fully look into your premonitions and, and trust your intuition. Let's see. Let's do one more. Um, who is this fire sign in reverse? Your challenge could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, either a brother, sister, some sort of relative, or it could be a lover or somebody that you work with that. You just always comparing yourself and you're like, I'm not like them and they're successful, so I gotta be more like them to be successful. No. Okay. Lastly, I would say definitely need to do some sort of clearing, cleansing. Uh, all of this is urging you to get more in touch with your psychic side, your spiritual side, and not be afraid of that. It's not like money may not be your lot in life right now, but you have to still help. You still have to give, even if it's for free. Ugh, I know. You don't like that to hear that right now. I can feel your frustration. Let's do one more. This is going to just be a clarifier from the sacred traveler. Are you a sacred traveler who has put down your hobo sack 
and stop traveling. You need to pick up your hobo sack. You need to put on your walking boots and your ripped black jeans. And just keep on moving. You know, if you're feeling stagnant, you gotta go. Oh, Journey by Moonlight again. Scorpio got this too. You're not a useless hippie, okay? If you can't sleep at night, don't try to force yourself to go to sleep. If you have different ideas that start popping at night, get up out of your bed and start writing them down. Meet in magic. Okay, Pisces, you got these, my fishies. And I'm going to try to do that same shit, too. All right, deuces. Magic, demon, just tear, like, share, subscribe. Let me know below if any of that resonated with you. As far as love and romantic relationships, like, you just need to let them come to you. Like, stop playing their game. You need to know your worth. Okay? As far as, like, family relationships, do not compare yourself to others. You're different. You're special. Okay? The Barney song just popped in my head. You know the Barney song.